in a way, optical has some advantages as well. I mean, it's as you know, uh, and it's not a question of uh, poison versus uh, uh, versus uh, a cure like it was with the jitter. But there's an there's a great aspect to the optical, which is the ground loop isolation, and that's very very important, especially in the home settings where you don't have controlled uh, power or the way you know how it's grounded and paying attention to all that so the great thing of optical and that's why people really use it because of its ability to break up the, the ground loop and isolate your DAC from uh, a noisy power supply of your laptop with all the hard drives and switching power supplies which are min miniaturized and stuck together in a small box so know? so the fact that this optical connect the connection is on all of these Macintosh computers is actually uh, maybe a diamond in the rough? Well, absolutely. I mean, it's this is an example where you exactly take something which was disregarded or where people over-focused on certain aspect of it. And and, uh, uh, and if you take care of that one problem, then all of a sudden exactly it's like polishing the diamond. It starts out, I mean, diamonds don't start out looking great. You know, they're just rocks. And then you, you, you polish it. So what, what our circuit does, in a way, it polishes the diamond. We take that... Uh, definitely very jittered signal that comes out of, of, uh, of the optical connector and then we put it through our 64-bit process and, and it's so powerful that it's absolutely, when it comes out of the cleaner, so to speak, on the other end, I mean, we buffer the samples and we uh, reconstruct uh, unjittered clock and then we put it in a, in a D2A converted chip, well, you, you know, you did the listening test, and I did them, and then, you know. And the, late, the, the latency like? is very low as well. How, how are we avoiding, if you're buffering it, how are you, we avoiding any significant latency? Well, we're not buffering it that much. We're not talking about 1,000, you know, samples or anything like that. I mean, we only need a two-sample buffer. So we're talking about latency, really. Uh, say, if you're running it to 44K, well, I mean, roughly 40 microseconds. I mean, that's the amount of time it takes the sound to travel through maybe this much air. So it's, 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 it's entirely unperceivable. But the buffering is not an issue. We've been here at MESA you know, the past few days, and we've been seeing people's reactions to just playing some audio through some, some really nice sounding uh, Focal monitors. Um, you know, what are your thoughts about uh, hearing this product for the first time, getting it out of the, the laboratory and, <laughs> and, and not looking at the ones and zeros, but actually actually hearing it in a real world environment? What are your thoughts about people's reactions so far? Well, I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, what, what we see is people kind of walking down the halls, people, you know, wander down these halls and they're overwhelmed with the visual and auditory simulation and kind of daydreaming and but 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 when they when we put the music on and on those monitors and we kind of see people all of a sudden stop and you know they kind of snap out of that virtual reality they're in and they want to see what's going on. I mean maybe it's the music pieces we've selected, I don't know, but we play a different genre of music really. Um, but it's definitely they just stop and listen and say I mean, they, they sometimes think we're selling the monitors, actually, and they're, oh, this sounds really, really good, you know. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's astounding, it's really astounding. And when they see it's coming out of just a laptop computer with a, a sort of an optical cable. I mean, another thing you should uh, think about, Marcel, how easy it is to get this thing going. I mean, you're not talking driver installations or anything. You're talking, you know, you're taking a cable and you're snapping it into the jack and you got your audio. I mean, you got not just your audio, you've got great sounding professional level audio that's instantly available on demand with no latencies with no driver installations and that means okay that I I bring my laptop and okay we take it out of your laptop we put it into my laptop and you know it's, a, it's you know I mean, imagine otherwise okay I bring my laptop okay you plug it in and you say oh shit this you know, I don't have the driver for your sound card so let me so install we go a driver online, and, and, okay we we'll go on driver that turns out to be the wrong version of the driver or something happens when I install the driver that installs. I mean, you know, driver installations are, as much as we want to make them perfect, they're, they're, it's a tough thing. So having that immediacy of actually plugging it in naturally and, and instantly and so, getting the professional sound. So a big thank you to Apple uh, computers for <laughs> putting that antelope connection on all of their computers. Right, right, right. I mean, it, they both start on A, so you know, there's <laughs> something to be said. But yeah, I'm, I'm really, I, I think it's just exceeded, it really exceeded my expectations. I mean, I, I knew that 
we were gonna score high points by combining our clocks with a with a D2A converter chip in, in, in one enclosure because there's another aspect to it we didn't talk about if we would have had a clock separate from D2A then you still have to have cabling and a certain amount of jitter and noise could result uh, coming in from the cable uh, and there's more issues of you know you're connecting more pieces of equipment is everything optimized and pieces and so on having the clock right in that shielded enclosure right there with the very short connection to the chip that's something else that is beneficial obviously we derive some benefit from that integration as well not to mention it's a smaller packaging wise it's a nice little box it's a cute little box you can fit on your desktop what, what's your view on the what do you think about the look of the box well I asked have an opinion? I, I asked if we could do something like this because I wanted one myself <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for making the one and I'm gonna take it home and that's it I'm happy now well I want one myself too. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get busy making them, and uh, we look forward to selling a lot of these. And uh, and uh, thanks for your time, and I uh, look forward to having some more conversations in the near future, so that we can uh, share your thoughts and concepts with the public. Well, thanks for talking to me, and take care.